everybody welcome back to my channel my name's Rachel and this is Stitched Up so today's video is going to be another sew along with me and we are going to be sewing the Tilly and the Buttons Agnes with a difference as you can see I have hacked it to make a lovely cowl neck top and I thought you might be interested to know how I did this in case you wanted to add a cowl neck to any one of your tops um, it's actually really simple to do I have as you probably already know I have tried the sew over it cowl neck top and found that it just kept slipping off my shoulders and I do love the Tilly and the Buttons Agnes I think it's a really good staple I googled um, like mad to see if there was any online tutorials about how to create a cowl neck top out of an existing pattern that you already have and was really pleased to find this particular tutorial from Blueprint which I will link down below and um, yeah, I'm absolutely delighted with how this has turned out. As you can see, it's a gentle drape rather than a really big dramatic drape. And uh, that's exactly the kind of look I was after. I do find that the Sew Over It cowl neck top is just a little bit too drapey for me, particularly when I work as a nurse practitioner and I'm examining patients. I obviously don't want to be showing my cleavage off to everybody. So this is going to fit the bill really well. So um, I will insert some pictures of the finished top for you to have a look at. And if you are interested in how I made this, then keep watching. Right, so we're going to be redrafting the Agnes T by Tilly and the Buttons to become a cowl neck front t-shirt. So to do this, what you're gonna need is your front bodice pattern piece. All the other pattern pieces will be unaffected and it's this one that we're gonna need to work with. So first things first, what I'm gonna do is just trace off this pattern piece onto a new piece of paper so that we can alter the pattern. When we've drawn out the pattern piece, what we need to do then is just mark in the seam allowance on the front piece. to mark a point down from the centre front three and a half inches or 8.9 centimetres so it's about there and this is going to be the cowl point when you've marked that spot you need to redraw the neckline curve right up to the shoulder point <laughs> Right, so next we need to draw two slash lines from the centre front up to the shoulder seam. So you can choose these wherever you want them. Um, I'm going to do one about there and about there. And then split the shoulder seam at the top. else we need to now cut this pattern piece out. out we now need to cut through these slash lines up to but not through 
the seam allowance line. So we'll do that now. To enable us to pivot, we just need to cut again from the shoulder top to where we've just cut, but not cutting all the way through so that we can just pivot. So you should end up with something that looks like that. And then we should be able to just pivot those pieces like so. Right, so next you're gonna need to stick down your pattern piece onto a fresh piece of paper underneath. We're gonna be adding eight to 10 inches in total length throughout this new pattern piece. So what we need to do first is just stick this first piece down like so. And then what we need to do is we need to redraw the centre front line So this is going to be our new centre front. We're going to be chopping these bits off. But first we need to add in four inches between each of the slashed lines, which is four inches or 10 centimetres in total. So I've made a little mark of the first one just there. And we're now going to stick that pattern piece down. And then we'll do the same again, another 10 centimetres. Next thing we need to do is draw a straight line across to the centre front from the top of the shoulder seam. So I'm just going to extend that centre front line up just a little bit more to there. And the, except I haven't done it, I'll do it again. And then straight across like that. So this is now going to be the cowl line. Yeah, so next we're going to create a facing line which needs to be two inches higher than the cowl line. So that's two inches or five centimetres. going to do is we are going to true up the new shoulder seam here. And then what we need to do is we fold over the facing line and we're going to follow that curve round like so and that's going to give us our facing right so we should be ready to cut out Piece. So we're just going to make up the t-shirt following the rest of the instructions. Right, so next we're going to cut out our actual fabric and hope this works. So to do this you're going to need your new cowl neck front piece, your back pattern piece, your sleeve and um, we aren't, we're going to use the neck band but we're only going to be binding the back neck band piece because remember we've got a facing now on the front piece so that's the only piece we're going to do so I'm probably just going to halve this and cut it on the fold and that will give me enough just to bind um well I don't need to do that do I, I can just cut out one of those and then that will do the back neck band. But I'll show you that as we get to the construction. Right, so to put this top together, the first thing we need to do is create the banding. So I have the length of neck band here that all I did was use the pattern piece 
um, but rather than cutting it on the fold I just cut one piece of it so what I'm going to do is fold it wrong sides together like so This is the back bodice piece, so we are going to attach the binding by stretching slightly just to the right side of the bodice piece. So I'm going to pin that in place and then we're going to stitch it on. So that's now all pinned in place on the neckline of the back bodice piece and I'm going to stitch, stitch that at 5 eighths of an inch. So that's now stitched. I've used a lightning stitch on my sewing machine to do that but I'm just going to finish this edge off with my overlocker and then we'll be able to top stitch that down. Then it should look something like that. So we've got nicely top stitched outer and the inside looks like that so the next thing we need to do is attach the front bodice piece to this and this is going to be a bit of a different construction because with it being a cowl neck we need to attach it slightly differently so i'll just get the front piece and we'll show you what we need right, to do so this is the wrong side of the front piece with the cowl on and you remember that this is the facing bit here so what we need to do first is we need to fold the facing back on itself and line it up and then we're just going to pin here and we're just going to base this edge and then we're going to do the same on the other side just fold fold that back pin it in place Okay, we're going to baste across that edge there and that edge there first so that the facing is back on itself like so. Okay, so we'll just get those edges basted and then we'll show you what we do next. Right, so what we've got here now is I've got the back piece with the right side facing up and then I've got the front piece here that's got the basted facing on and then what we're going to do is where that facing is basted is now the shoulder seam of the front. So we're just going to pin it to the shoulder seam of the back. Like so. And then we'll do the same on the other side. So there's the basted facing, shoulder seam of the back bodice piece. We're just going to line that up there and pin it in place. Right, and then we're going to baste it again and then I'm going to run it through the overlocker. When that's done, you can see I've overlocked the shoulder seams together. You should have something that looks like that and you can start to see the drape on that. This is looking at it from the front inside out. So next we need to add the sleeves in the usual way according to the pattern. So we're going to add them on the flat and then we can sew up the side seams um, and hem and we're done.